I seen you thought that Lebronto stuff was funny during yeah. the playoffs last year. <laughs> yeah, I went through your tweets. That was kind of disrespectful. Roy Hibbert. Yes. Is Hibbert. One of the last traditional big men in the league. Yeah. Block shots, rebounds, post ups, bodying people. Sent high up off the glass and thrown down by Hibbert. What, do you, what are your thoughts on the way the game's evolved now with big men doing you know, other things and just more of a video game style type of uh, basketball game now and then? Yeah, I remember when I was a kid playing like NBA 2K or NBA Live and I always the run and gun. And to tell you the truth, at the detriment of my own like career, the, the NBA has gotten faster. And to tell you the truth, it is fun to watch though. I mean, they speed up the game. So um, it's unfortunate at my behest, but at the same time, I'm a fan of the game, so I like watching. You were drafted by Toronto initially. Yeah, yeah. Yo, were you excited about coming here? I was, I used to, when I was a kid, I had two family members that were, um, that lived in, in Toronto. So I used to drive up from DC to Toronto every summer and spend like a month here. So I used to go to CN Tower, walk across that glass. And my dad's from Jamaica, my mom's from Trinidad. I just went to like Roti King the other day and got me some uh, some bus up shop and everything like for real, that. For real, for real. So, yeah. Caribbean food out here yeah. is the real deal. It is. They don't have that in LA like that though. Yeah, that's why I hear. Uh, I need some like cola champagne. I need some oh, like, all that, I need yo. the patties, oxtail, black beans and rice, yeah, all that. Yeah, okay, you, you get it. You yeah, get I get it. it. I spent a lot of time here and I wanted to be here, but um, Indiana was where I had to go. So. So, yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I always have a fond place in my heart for Toronto. Mario Kart! Hey! We're here about to get on some Mario Kart, you know what I'm saying? You were talking shit to me yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even trying to, you know what I'm saying, get on you like that. Yeah. But, you know, I'm going to see what you have for me today. I'll see what I can do. I'll yeah, see what I can do. Yeah, let's see what you can do over here. You weren't much of a trash talker when you played, though. No, I was always quiet. You know, unless somebody started talking to me, I just, you know, just play my game, go get focused, and then just go on about my business. Yeah. That's just the type of person I am. What player you remember that wouldn't stop talking, man? He was talking all the time. Um, I have a, a most respect for, like, Kenyon Martin. I remember playing Kenyon, and, uh, and he just kept going and going and going. But uh, him and KG, you know, Ooh. I have a lot of respect for those two guys. and. Um, yeah, reading Kevin Garnett's lips and replays and shit, you could always... Yeah, they talk a lot. Are you out? I oh, know, man. I'm just, I'm getting a little lucky. <laughs> oh, we got, they got something coming for you right now. Oh, that was you? No, it wasn't me. That oh, was somebody... these weapons! <laughs> I just want to drive peacefully. It's like, man, I got a little lucky. Nah, you, you, you did your I thing. got a little lucky, man. It was just one of them you things. Thing. Just... Oh, no. No! Oh, that's messed up, man. Oh, they got you. It's all right, though. <laughs> Yo, when you guys were on the road, did you guys game a lot? Yeah, so a lot of times we bring those games, uh, cases. They're like, you know, they have a screen in there and they already have uh, a screen built into the suitcase. And then you just put your Xbox or PlayStation. And then you just say, you know, you're a vet. You just have a rookie carry that around for you city to city. <laughs> Growing up in a Caribbean household, basketball's not on the forefront of your mind. There's, no. there's soccer, there's obviously track. Yeah. But I heard your parents wanted to get you into to tennis yeah. and uh, golf. Yeah, so when I was a kid, my parents always said athlete, uh, like basketball's for dumb jocks. That's what they said. Like, it was always schoolwork. Like every day of the week, it was always schoolwork. I didn't have any time to do anything else. And uh, my parents were just like, all right, you, I want you to play tennis, you know? And I, my mom wanted me to play in front of the Queen of England and stuff like How that. How big were you, know? you at this point? How tall were you at third, this point? I think like third grade I started playing sports and I was probably like a, still like a foot taller than everybody. Okay. I used to have to do tennis lessons on Saturday mornings. And I'm 31, so I don't know how old you are, but like in the 90s, like I used to want to like watch cartoons on Saturday mornings, you know? And tennis practice was always at like 9 a.m. So like I wanted to sit and watch X-Men and stuff, but it wasn't for me. My serve was okay, but like going to chase after the ball was not, not for me. Like yeah, that, yeah, you know? yeah. Then eventually like, you know, coaches came up, they wanted me to play basketball and stuff. So they, and that led to like them not having to pay for any of my schooling. So they're appreciative of that, you know? Well, with the Jamaican background, you know, track's a big deal. Did you ever try running track? No, I was slow. I was, uh, I was not the quick one in the family or anything like that. But, you know, I had always wanted to play in the Olympics. And, um, you know, I was born in Queens, but um, I wasn't gonna make the team, you know, USA basketball team. So um, I got dual citizenship with uh, Team Jamaica and I played in a, a couple 
a couple games with them in, uh, for the Pan Am game. So you say you play a lot of shooters? I used to, before, before Lil Man came around, you know? So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it like being a dad, yo? Man, it's an amazing feeling, you know, knowing that you have somebody that, that, that needs you, like, morning, day, and night. And it's like a, a love that is, like, the best thing. For real. Yo, it's, no one's ever cried on the show before, man. I hear you <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you good? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah it's all good. I'm, I, I won't judge you for that. Who, who did you get up the most for when you used to play? Um, to tell you the truth, I always wanted to, like, Shaq was always my favorite player growing up. I met him when I was in sixth grade at the Boys and Girls Club and always been a fan. And, and like, I was a rookie his last year in the league, mm -hmm. but um, I always, always wanted to, like, do well to try to impress him because, like, he was my idol. Right. So, like, it wasn't on any, like, some Dwight Howard and, and, and Shaq stuff, you know, but it was more like, you know, I look up to this man, like, I want to show him that, like, you know, I can, I, I can do well in the league. Who sent that red shell? That wasn't me. I know you like the I weapon. Hit. Own it, own it, Roy. Where you at, you're in fourth? Okay, you, you're, you're, you're in the I'm vicinity, making my way man. downtown. Are you gonna putting all these bananas out here, man? No, That's... not even. Out. This man is like, I, just, I, just like I need man. like a blue shell just to like, you know. You're asking for blue shells? Yeah, it's just to like, you know, make it competitive. That's messed up, man. Oh, snap. No, no, no. You wishing blue oh. shells on me, man. That's two red shells. Uh, it's tough out there, man. Hey, congrats on your win, man. This respect, is, respect, is, respect. This is not my. No, man, it's just. This is not my. Participating is, is half the fun, man. You just. <laughs> So that's it. That's yeah, it. That's it. Even if they call you tomorrow, like yo, no, nobody's calling. Raptors you know? call you I up tomorrow. I have not picked up a basketball. I work out, you know, every day, but I have not picked up a basketball in about like a year and a half, you know. So oh, yeah. I have some investments, like like I said, Playline, you know, free to play. I'm plugging, shameless plug, you know, free to play uh, online uh, fantasy sports gaming companies, a lottery based uh, predictive game. Why go overseas and play and uh, have two day practices when I could just, you know. Um, just be like an entrepreneur, like a business person, you know, business man, yeah, yeah. so. Respect on your career. Yeah, you take it easy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, work on that next I time. I need to work on that, yeah, you know? Yeah, we get on it.